The ballpoint pen was designed as the answer to the fountain pen's many annoyances. The hassle of having to manually refill the barrel with ink that dried slowly and often smudged. The ballpoint has a tiny steel ball in its tip that applies quick drying ink from a ready-made cartridge. When the ink cartridge inside these retractable pens runs out, you simply replace it with a new one. Working from the initial design, the pen factory makes molds for all the pen's plastic components. The injection molder first shoots hot liquid plastic into molds for the barrel's rigid core, then into other molds for its soft rubber grip. The tubes for the ink cartridges are also made of plastic. Machinery aligns them in the same direction, then prints on the company name, model number, and tip size. Here, a filling machine injects 0.8 grams of ink through the tip. To prevent the ink from evaporating, it plugs the other end with 0.1 grams of silicone paste. Meanwhile, high-precision machines progressively shape the pen's tip out of stainless steel blanks. The equipment drills a one millimeter channel through the blank. Then, in quick succession, fashions the tip into a cone, cuts five tiny ink flow channels in the ball socket, and seats a one millimeter diameter stainless steel ball in the center. Another machine that inserts a finished tip in each ink-filled tube. A scanner then checks the length and the ball of each cartridge. This magnification shows the width of the five ink flow channels next to a human hair. Random samples undergo an air pressure test to check the ball's position and movement. Anything less than perfect will clog the pen. They close off the end of the cartridge with a plastic cap. The cartridge is now going to a centrifuge, which forces the ink to the tip, eliminating any air bubbles that would obstruct ink flow. Every cartridge passes through this writing test machine. That blue light is a sensor that triggers the machine to reject any defective cartridge. The components now come together in the assembly department. The machine assembles the clip, sleeve, and barrel. The clip is made of chrome-plated spring steel, a strong metal that regains its shape when flexed. The machine then flips the assembly over to receive the internal components. First, the pen's two-part push-button mechanism. Part one, the plastic push-button. Part two, a device called a rotor. With each click, it rotates the refill 45 degrees, so the tip wears evenly. The ink cartridge goes in tip side up, the plug on the back fitting into the rotor. This device forces spring steel wire through a coiling block. This produces a tiny spring that provides resistance to the push button mechanism. A grabber places the spring over the cartridge tip. Now they close up the pen by adjoining the barrel's bottom part. The machine screws the two parts together to a specific tightness. The final assembly machine tests the push button mechanism to ensure it retracts the tip properly. This also prepares the pens for packaging, as they go into the boxes with tips retracted. The factory subjects random samples to endurance testing. This device clicks the push button 100,000 times. Only then does a printer put the logo on the barrel. This company's engineering of its inflow channels and tip delivers on average two and a half miles of writing per cartridge. <laughs>